so the trick is, one of the tricks with this one is like 60 has nothing to do with it. It's just letting us know that the car is going at a steady speed because as cars go at different speeds, they burn different amounts of gas. They're different, you know, mileage basically. They burn different amounts of gas per hour depending on what speed they go. But So it's just letting us know that at 60 miles an hour, it's burning, um, um, it, it, it's burning one gallon of gas for every 25 miles it goes. In other words, after every 25 miles it goes, it uses up one gallon, all right? Um, so, it's the number of miles I can drive a, a function of the number of gallons of gas in the tank, all right? So, what we could do is we could say, um, so in other words, look, after, you know, I'm just going to say, I'm just going to look at this, look at this, so, you know, gallons used, let's say, right, just to make it easier. So, if I use one gallon, um, and it's the number of miles I can drive, if I use one gallon, I, I could, uh, I'll drive 25 miles. Make sense? If I use two gallons, that'll be, I'll have driven, I can drive 50 miles, right? If I use three gallons, I can drive 75 miles. Make sense? Right. Right, right. For gallons used, it is. Uh, but I guess a slight twist is the number of miles I can drive a linear function of the number of gallons of gas in the tank. So you could say um, um, gas in tank. Okay. Um, and I guess we'll we'll make it up. But you don't. You guys. By the way, you guys could tell if this is a linear or not without even making a table, because it, it's it's a steady rate is the point. It, it's going up by the same amount, um, and so it is. But but I'm going to make up some numbers for this for fun anyway. I'm going to say there's ten gallons in the tank at first, and we've gone. Uh, you know, sorry. I, so just, I got to say, okay, let's say we start with ten gallons, right? Um, at first, uh, but then we drive 25 miles, now we only have like 9 gallons, right? Um, uh, we drive 50 miles, now we only have like 8 gallons. We drive 75 miles, now we only have 7 gallons, right? So as the gallons change, uh, the gas in the tank changes, the miles change by the same amount. They go up by 25, right? The miles have driven, right? And so yes, this is linear. Right, and to come up with a formula for that, um, formula for the gas in the tank, um, we could say that the um, yeah, so it's it's uh, twenty five times, you know, so so this would be kind of like you know. Um, like for 75 miles, that'd be like, you know, 25 miles times 3, right? Or let's say we started with 10 in the tank. It's 25 times 10 minus 7, right? Uh, 7 gallons left in the tank. This is for 50, it's like 25 times 2, or 25 times 10 minus 8, and so on, right? So if we've x gallons left in the tank, it's 25 times 10 minus x. So that's kind of a fun little formula for for coming up with the amount of miles driven uh, given gas left in the tank, right? So so something like yeah, something like y equals 25 times 10 minus x. And yes, it is linear because it is the same number change each time, right?